Zimbabwe has nine currencies which are legal tender, but not all of them are accepted on the streets of Harare. And just a stone's throw away, I'm going to find out just how many different currencies are accepted in average retail stores. What about the Chinese currency yuan? Uh, yeah, uh, no. Dollars and euro. Dollars and euro. Dollars and rands. And, and, and dollars and rands. Dollars and rands. You take dollars and rands. You take dollar, dollar and euro. And euro, yeah. Would you accept Chinese currency? I don't want Chinese currency. Did you accept rands previously though? Yes. That was when did you stop? I think when it started falling last year. Zimbabwe didn't always have a global currency mix. In the mid-2000s, the country printed its way into hyperinflation, with the local Zimbabwean dollar devaluing at a rapid pace. This is a 100 trillion Zimbabwean dollar note. You can't find this in the streets of Zimbabwe anymore. It was basically abolished in 2009 after inflation hit 230 million percent. It was so traumatizing. The money which was being printed was to purchase the foreign currency from the market. The exchange rate had moved from uh, as low as $250 to one US to around anything like uh, 350 quadrillion. That's why we had to change to the currency, to the multiple currency system, so as to ensure that it's stable. And recently there were rumors that Zimbabwe would ditch the greenback for the yuan. The yuan actually isn't accepted, from what I understand, and a lot of people haven't even seen a yuan. Your observations are very correct. So we are saying that uh, if you, since you can import your products from uh, the RAND, from South Africa, you can use the RAND. If you want to import from uh, and export to China zone, you also can utilize uh, the yuan for trading purposes. The, the U.S. is the national reserve currency. There's a demand and liquidity crunch in Zimbabwe with deflation at minus 2.3% in January and no local currency means no monetary policy tools. How then do you grow an economy under dollarization? Funds need to be utilized for purposes that are intended so that we minimize leakages from the economy. Because once you have a dollarized economy, the tendency is that uh, the leakages become much more. Zimbabwe might be years away from reintroducing its own currency. In the meantime, it has these coins called bonds. For each coin in circulation, there's an equivalent U.S. dollar coin held in reserves, just like the days of the gold standard. Now, there are $10 million worth of these in the country. It seems that when fiat currency fails, going back to basics is the only option. Eleni Jokos, CNN Money, Harare.